What's up, people? My name is Trent, aka Father Diff, and today I want to talk to you guys about editing pictures on an iPad. And will an iPad replace the laptop? Is editing pictures on here easy? Hard? Complicated? I mean, I don't know. Let's find out. All right, so first things first, there are a couple ways to get your pictures on your iPad. Um, for me, I like to import them directly from the memory card onto the iPad. And I use this because I don't have a USB-C cable. For me to connect my USB and my memory card, I had to connect these two and then plug it in the bottom and just import them to your pictures, your photos. So after you do that, you're going to go into Lightroom. You're gonna go to this icon at the bottom, from camera roll, and you're just gonna add them in and they're gonna be raw files or JPEG, however you shout them. So once you get them inside of it, edit it just like you would anything else. Now, if you want your presets, inside this app there's a way you can do it and you have to use adobe lightroom cc which syncs everything across all the devices you have connected to that app so you're going to go in to lightroom cc and you're going to go to import presets find them wherever you save them at and just import them there and then it's going to sync it across all the devices connected to the app so you're going to go here and as you can see, I have three packs of them. Father Diff presets, Father Diff 2, and my presets. So I use my own presets because it's stuff that I've played with over the past couple years. Some of them I like, some of them I don't. I just haven't deleted them. I still may go back and tweak them every now and then. But now I don't have to worry about trying to make it look like I edited it on my computer with those presets without having it. Now I already have these presets on here. So it's the same thing. And I really, really love these images. Now there are some pros to using an iPad to edit your pictures and that's gonna be the mobility. That's gonna be, it, it feels more hands-on to me to be able to use this pen and just go in and start touching stuff you know moving the sliders and just i don't know it feels more i can't explain it it's kind of like when you're writing something down you remember it better than you would typing it that's that's just me i don't know i don't know maybe it's a me thing anyway it's perfect for small workloads if you have maybe 30 pictures and you just want to go through and pick them out and figure out which ones you like this is perfect i love doing this um, and I don't have to pull out that huge laptop. I mean, you know how hard it is trying to walk with a laptop like this and move sliders and stuff on the little trackpad? Yeah, I ain't feeling it. I do it because I have to, but now I don't have to because I have the iPad. There are some cons to using this. Storage, I haven't figured out storage yet as far as when I import them to my Laptop, I go straight through the laptop into an external hard drive. So those images aren't stored on my laptop, they're stored on the hard drive. With here, you have to save the photos into the iPad, which is what I think. I don't know if you can pull them, source them straight from an external hard drive, connect it, and edit them off of there. I haven't done that yet. Not saying you can't, but I haven't done that. Another con is I noticed that when I go to copy settings and let's say I use the brush tool and maybe got away some acne or you know some imperfections or something and I go to paste those settings it's gonna get rid of all of that so you have to go back in and redo the brushes and stuff and adjustments on the face or whatever so I don't like that I'm hoping they fix that Another thing that I didn't like is 
just the whole, you know, if, if it's a lot of pictures, nobody's gonna sit there and edit wedding pictures on here. Like, you're gonna take over a thousand pictures at a wedding. You're not gonna place all of these on here and edit them. If you do, I, I applaud you. But I don't know where you're gonna get that space from. So, just keep in mind, as far as huge workloads, not really ideal. Small workloads, perfect, 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 perfect. Again, I, I love it. I didn't think I'd like it, but I love this iPad. Um, is it gonna replace my laptop? For the most part, yes. If I'm off on vacation or on the go, I'm gonna take this iPad instead of my laptop now because it's a lot more lighter and it's just easier to use. Plus the battery life on it is pretty, pretty impressive. I am, I am impressed compared to my old one. This blows it out the water. I'll still continue to edit my bigger workloads on my computer. But as far as my smaller workloads, medium workloads, I'm gonna use this iPad because it's just way more convenient. There, there's also another way to sync those pictures to the iPad without having to use this method. Um, what you can do is you can go in the Lightroom and build a collection and then sync that collection with Lightroom CC. And next time you get on Wi-Fi or you know your data, if you have a data enabled iPad, it's gonna be syncing to that iPad through the through the internet. So when you open it up, it's out the, bleh. So when you open those, bleh, get it together. So when you open up the app, those pictures are gonna be on there or they're gonna be downloading to it while you're inside the app. So that's a pretty cool thing too. You know, if you don't have time or you don't have the USB adapter, but I mean, it's only $10. I paid $10 for two of these off of Amazon. I'll, I'll link it below. And it's a breeze. I really feel like iPads are becoming better. I mean, they're gonna give a laptop a run for their money. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to show you guys the process of editing pictures on an iPad, what it's like, talk about it a little bit. Not really going into too much detail because I'm kind of pressed for time. I have a wedding expo to do today and I'm hoping that I can get this up and going today, which is Thursday, August 1st. It's August 1st. I'm hoping to get this out the same day and I got maybe 30, 45 minutes before I gotta go. So let's hope I can do this editing real quick and get it out of here and get it up today. So appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's talk about it. Do you think an iPad will replace a computer? Do you see yourself using an iPad to edit in pictures? I mean, what do you what do you think? Let's talk about it. And don't forget to ring the bell. That yeah, got extra sound effect for that one. <laughs> Don't forget to ring the bell, and I will see you guys next week. That was a different one. Wait, hey, before you go, that's rock, paper, scissors. What you got? All right, we go. One, two, three, shoot. All right? It ain't no one, two, three. We, nah, we're gonna go like that. One, two, three, shoot. You ready? One, two, Three, shoot. Did I win? I feel like I won, and if you say I didn't win, you cheated. See you guys next time.